Let me show you how to use the change of base formula so we can put logs on our calculator. So here's the change of base formula. Log base b of x equals log base a of x divided by log base a of b. Now to put it on our calculators, the a or the base has to be 10. So that's going to be log base 10 of x divided by log base 10 of b. But now remember, we don't have to write the 10s in there. If there is not a number written for my base, it's assumed that it's 10. So we can simply say log of x divided by log of b. So let's see how that works when we try to evaluate log base 3 of 6. Now what I would do is I would write it right under my formula, log base 3 of 6. So now I can see that b is 3 and x is 6. So let's put that into our change of base formula. So I'm going to have the log, no it's base 10, but I'll write that in for now. Base 10 of 6 divided by log base 10 of 3. So remember, the 10 is assumed, so I'm just going to simply have log base 6 over log base 3. Now when I put that on my calculator, I get an answer of 1.6309297544. Um, it depends on what your instructor wants you to do, how to round it, but I'm just going to round it to do two decimal places. 1.63. Now in the next preview I'm going to show you how to use your calculator. So let me show you how to do this on the calculator. You just press log. Now you get a parentheses right away. So I'm just going to put a 6 in there. So that's log of 6. Remember our base is assumed to be 10. That's why we did the change of base formula. Divided by the log. Now there's already a parentheses in there so I don't need to put one of 3 and parentheses and enter. And there's my answer. So let's use the change of base formula to evaluate log base 9 of 78. Now until you get really good at it, I would write the formula out and what we're trying to evaluate. So I'm going to write log base 9 of 78 right underneath my formula because then I see my b is 9 and my x is 78. So to put it in our calculator, our base has to be 10. So we're going to write log base 10 of x, which is 78, divided by log base 10 of b, which is 9. Now remember, we don't need to write the 10s, because if I write log of 78, it's already assumed that's a base 10, over log of 9. Now when I do that on my calculator, I get an answer of 1.982 and a whole bunch more numbers. Now it's really up to your instructor how far they want you to round, but I'm only going to round to two decimal places, 1.98. Now let me show you how to do that on your calculator. You're going to press your log key and then put 78 and parentheses. Now remember, we don't need to put a base in there because our base is assumed to be 10. And that's why we did the change of base formula. Divided by log of 9, end parentheses, and enter. And there's your answer. So let's use the change of base formula to evaluate log base 4 of 16. Now until I get my change of base formula memorized, I'm going to write what I'm trying to evaluate underneath the formula. So I'm going to have log base 4 of 16. My base is 4, my x is 16. So when I follow the formula, I'm going to have log, now we need it in base 10 for our calculator, base 10 of 16 divided by log base 10 of 4. Now remember, we don't need to write the 10s because when I write log of 16, it's already assumed that my base is 10, divided by the log of 4. Now when I put that on my calculator, I get 2. So let me show you how to put it on your calculator. 
you'll take the log of 16, end parentheses, divided by the log of 4, end parentheses, and hit enter. And your answer happens to be 2.